So welcome to the Chromebook Pixel 2013 Cloud Ready Edition. So this is my Pixel 2013 and it's end of life in terms of Chrome OS updates. So what I've done is uh, put uh, Cloud Ready onto it. And this is a version of Chrome OS which you can just install and it will carry on getting updates. So currently I'm running this on the dev channel so I'm on version 69 whereas the dev channel in reality for Chrome OS is up on something like 71, 72 now, beta 71 yeah so it's a little bit behind but it's not as far behind as it would be if I didn't do this so if I click on about cloud ready you can see that we're on version 69.143 of cloud ready so I've stuck this onto the cloud ready um, developer channel so I get reasonably up-to-date versions of Chrome OS. In fact some devices still are on 69 stable as it is so it's just like a lot of Chrome books at the moment. But in terms of use it's exactly the same other than the fact that you'll notice that down here the Chrome icon is blue rather than the tricolor Google version because this is Chromium not Chrome um, so this is the open source browser uh, and this is an open source device now uh, the way I achieved this was simply taking the back off this and removing the BIOS lock screw, there's just one screw to take off and then put on a custom BIOS onto this thing so I could boot it from a USB stick and install Cloud Radio or in fact any other operating system but this has only got a 32 gig SSD so what you can do with it in terms of different OS's is a little bit limited. I did have Ubuntu on it which worked fine uh, but I found that for what I do Chrome OS is probably a better fit especially given that you have a fairly limited amount of storage on here the sorts of things that I do on Ubuntu on my main PC I don't have the storage on here and it's only got USB 2 so it's not like you can stick a USB 3 stick into it but if we have a look at some of the Octane bench scores just a quick and dirty benchmark it's not even supporting this anymore but it gives you some idea of the performance that you'll get from one of these so you get about twenty and a half thousand twenty thousand five hundred thereabouts which is pretty much exactly the same as I used to get it when it was on Google's Chrome OS so this should carry on getting updates pretty much indefinitely or as long as uh, Cloud Ready supports the hardware um, and I suspect given it's pretty generic Intel hardware that will be some time touch screen and everything works fine mic, Bluetooth, everything on this works as you would expect it on a regular pixel. Uh, you'll never get Android support on here because that's proprietary to Google so you'd need to have Google's version of Chrome OS uh, running on that for it to work and um, their container stuff that they make Android apps run on Chrome OS is proprietary to them so you won't get that via Cloud Ready. But this keeps this machine alive for quite a long time I hope. Uh, it's quite an expensive device when I bought it new um, back in 2013. It's 2018 now and in terms of usability it's great. Um, does everything that I need it to do. So anyways you can cloud ready your Pixel 